This is Zoraida Ace 5S cell phone signal booster. It has uh, 72 dB max gain, easy installation, which we'll see in a second, works with all US carriers. And uh, today we're gonna test it with one T-Mobile and one Verizon. And I will be testing it right here in the room that has intentionally the worst connectivity. So I'll show you the phones before and after turning on this Zoraida uh, signal booster. And yes, it has an app, which we will see just in a second. And this one is 5G compatible, in case you're wondering. And for full transparency, this box and this whole set was sent to me free of charge from the company. So, but the opinions and tests that you're about to see here are 100% mine alone. And this is our booster itself. That's what connects everything together. This is the indoor antenna side of the connection. Looks like really high quality copper. And the same from the outdoor input here, high quality copper. And this is the power input, regular barrel. On the back, we have a lot of serial model number, serial number, and all that uh, good stuff. And in case I forgot, yes, it comes with a installation guide. So in the box, besides that, we have quite a long wire right here that connects from outside to here inside we'll check that in a second really nicely packaged by the way and here we have the high power or high gain antenna itself that is directional so we'll install it outside and of course pointed towards the uh, closest tower or towers to this area and see where that goes and here's the indoor antenna that he would install. We're going to install it in a second. This is a power brick. It is a 12 volt, one and a half amps, regular barrel. This is the installation uh, screws that we will need later. And that is pretty much it in the box. And now we're going to walk through the product itself with all that it has. So you can mount it either on a pole or on a wall. It depends on your situation. And that's what you would expect right out of the box. So you have everything you need to install it. And that's what we are going to do today. But before we do that, we're going to open it and just turn it on really quick. Just to make sure that everything is as we need it to be. So in the indoor side, of course, you would install this antenna here. That's like the tail uh, style. Just put it in here and it can go either side if you want it to and the other side comes the wire that's right here and that is a lot of it right here and basically you would just plug this part right in so it uh, connects like so and the other tail from the outdoor antenna as i said this is directional and this is a wide band panel antenna so it will catch quite easy without needing to fiddle too much, especially if you know where your uh, kind of closest towers are for your cell phone company, whatever where whatever company you have here in US, whether it's T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, or their subsidiaries and all that. And here's the power. We're going to connect the power really quick just to check that everything works. Uh, here we go. I'm not sure if you see the lights. Yep, you can. So there's a power light, a triangle, angle that of course we're not receiving anything and a link that means we are linked to the antenna besides that there's no buttons or anything else here but we're gonna try to connect the app really quick with it because yes it has an app and here's our phone as you see this one is running verizon right now and i barely get an lt and that lt that's there is uh yeah not working for internet because the, this room as i said is what I'm intentionally choosing to test this antenna. So let's go to signal supervisor really quick. And according to the manual, before you do anything, you have to find the cell tower. In my case, I know what direction my uh, cell towers actually are for both. But anyway, I'll uh, go to the side just as indicated here, which is very easy is the cell mapper. And as we said, in this uh, phone, we're running uh, Verizon. We will select Verizon. And without showing too much of it, the cell mapper now tells me where the antenna is. And I know exactly what direction that is. So I'll just install the uh, directional uh, wideband panel outside towards that antenna. And to install the uh, panel, 
is actually quite easy if I don't drop it. Just put the two provided uh, screws, one here and one on the other side really quick. And after you install these two screws, all is left is, of course, the angles, how you want to put the rest of it here. Let's just take these out really quick. It's actually fairly easy. So take these uh, rings out too. You put this thing through here. However you want to install it. In my case, I'm going to install it in this side because I want the angle. So I want to be able to change it. But if you want the angle a bit higher, you can plug it there and here. As you see, now it can go much higher. So I highly suggest you go with a lower one because you have a 90 degree up to probably 45 up. I would say this one is, and you would be really good to go. And here's the app for these uh, devices. It's the uh, Signal Supervisor. You can find it in the app stores. And when it opens up, you'll see your devices or you can click add device, scan for Bluetooth devices. And this is this one right here. The device is already on your device lists and if you go inside the app itself you can find the data sheets the user's manual you can find videos on how to install it and do all that stuff i like that and here you click to get a user's manual i didn't give permissions on this phone but if you on you can and you have installation guides and commentary on it and all that good stuff that this app actually includes including your uh, data regarding your radio frequency including the LT700, Cell 800, AWS 2100 and PCS 1900 and connection status is normal Bluetooth is our connection type and this is very beautiful and here's our antenna installed outside I tried to point it as good as I could towards the towers and I tried to kind of secure the wire so the wind wouldn't push it around and so far I'm happy with it and it just looks pretty good it does the job and it is connected of course keep in mind that arrow up and now let's go inside and check the signals themselves okay so all i did is connected the antenna from outside that you just saw put it here and this is off right now and all i'm gonna do is plug the power but i want you to see on the 4g lt here this is the uh t-mobile has barely one bar actually almost almost none right there and the verizon is says 5g but barely anything and with an exclamation mark so that's usually not good so let's connect this and i'm gonna leave this in real time to see if it does its own magic or not if anything changes on these uh phone networks and yes they actually did change as you see the 4g lt just went up to three bars now and the verizon went almost full five bars yep it is now full five bars on this one let me see right there and this one right here so let me just uh do some speed tests in both of them really quick and see where that goes but actually before i do that would be a fun test since we have both of them with quite a lot of bars almost full both of them let me do a quick test of uh disconnecting it while it's working right now so let's see if anything happens to the bars i have disconnected it and yep both bars look at that wow that was actually quick <laughs> it dropped to almost zero let me see if i can focus right here almost zero where it was before and the other one the same story dropped to just one barely one bar wow this antenna actually works really good way better than i thought and i just connected it and both of this is so this is almost too fast literally i just plugged it in look at that both of them are almost full bars wow okay this says Rida s5 is literally taking me for a spin right now because i did not expect it to work this fast this i'm used with uh, boosters before it would take a minute or two to uh, give any results. This one, literally instant. No, no waiting time at all. So let me just uh, do some quick speed tests on both of them. Just like that. And we'll do speed tests really quick. Okay, and I'm just gonna hit run, I guess, or go in both of them. And uh, see... Okay, don't uh, just disregard these uh, names here because that's the VPNs on. Boom. Actually, in this room, it was impossible to get anything past 5 to 12 
megabit downloads that was impossible and right now we're getting 50 on this one and 58 on this one wow so and they are completely different uh carriers this one's t-mobile this one's verizon they're not even the same carrier okay let me reduce the speeds to 100 so you actually see the scale uh better in both of them and i'm gonna run another test really quick love it and i'm not gonna do this now 100 okay and i'm gonna hit test again just to make sure that it was not a fluke or something weird and it's actually this thingy right here doing it because in this room rarely do i get anything over 10 to 12 and tonight for example is actually raining and quite a lot of thunder outside so it is not the perfect day to get any speed tests but as you see yourself it's actually blazing fast just because with this thingy right here literally this thing is just making the phones both actually get good signal and as i said this one is t-mobile and this one is verizon there, it just doesn't make sense to me almost like it's not supposed to work this way but somehow it works and it's working absolutely beautiful and yes the bars are still up not sure if you can see that if my camera ever focuses yep 5g almost full depending on the place you put it and the other one is full 5g i'm not sure if the camera is catching it yep full 5g right there this is incredible i'm seriously blown away by uh this device and as you saw i tested it with both different carriers intentionally just so we don't have anybody saying that oh but maybe it doesn't work for this one or this one i don't have an at&t i would assume i would safely assume that it should work on at&t as well but hey i have t-mobile as you saw right here and verizon and they're both boosted to perfection so this is i did not expect that and yes, again, this box was sent to me by Zoraida. And this booster right here, you see, is the Ace 5S. I will leave links down in the description for it in case you live in a rural area or somewhere, even middle of the cities. Don't get me wrong. Actually, there's a lot of areas that don't get good signal. And I've tested it and I've tried it myself. But hey, that's your situation. And, uh, I can highly suggest this one with 100% confidence because it worked on my own. It's still 5G if I can get this camera again right there. Yep, 5G full bars as you see. And I'm repeating myself, but I'm really blown away. I don't know what else to tell you guys. And this is 5G almost full. The same with Verizon. And this is, this is something else. I really love this little device they sent. Again, Thank you to Zoraida for sending it out. It works. The app works perfect. And all you need to know is just where your nearest tower is. And even if you don't want to use an app to find your tower, it's very easy. Just look around. Just look around. Or you can call your carrier, give them your address and uh, tell them, okay, uh, you want to know where your nearest tower is? And they will tell you. It's, you know, it's their job. They have to tell you. So with that said, I am really happy with this device it works absolutely perfect and uh we will see you next time please like and subscribe bye